Hey friends, welcome to meditation practice. In this practice, we will move a little bit beyond traditional tantric Kriya meditations. There are a few different sanctioned ways of meditating within the yoga slash uh, tantric traditions. Mantra Japa is obviously uh, one of the key <clears throat> methodologies. Then more from the Hatha Yoga side, we have the Hatha Yoga Kriyas, where we work internally, but we offer the mind some kind of charged symbol, a symbol that inherently holds pranic potency. For example, a flame within the heart, a lotus within the throat, a spinning multicolored disc within the navel. The mind appreciates compelling inner content like that. And in the beginning stages of meditation, the mind needs to be compelled. You have to give it a reason to stay inwards as opposed to running outwards in distraction and daydream and whatever else. So the Kriya meditations of Hatha Yoga are very much a preparation form of meditation. They train us for the, the later stages of meditation, which we can call Raja Yoga. Raja Yoga is the royal, meaning highest, path. The difference between Kriya meditation, Tantric Kriya meditation, meditation using the symbols, and Raja Yoga <clears throat> is that with Raja Yoga, we are connecting in with subtle pranic realities that are already there. We're not adding any additional symbology, symbolism. We're refining our subtle perception to the point that we can feel into the subtle nuances, the, the difference in pranic frequency at a selection of different points within the subtle body. That takes a really exquisite mind. That takes a king or a queen of meditation. That's why it's called Raja Yoga. The Hatha Yoga Kriyas are the perfect training for Raja Yoga. <clears throat> also, Within the Raja Yoga uh, technique, the training is inbuilt. The training in subtle perception, in internalizing the mind, that's, that's all built into the system of Raja Yoga. So what often happens, and this is what we'll do today, is the Raja Yoga process is broken down into stages. The lower practices, the preparatory practices, and then eventually we add on the higher practices. In today's practice of Raja Yoga, we will look at the first three practices out of five. Uh, even though I call them preparation practices, they are in and of themselves a very powerful meditation uh, technique. Just these three initial stages of Raja Yoga, as you'll see but very, very powerful. And what's great about them is they are accessible to pretty much everyone, um, <clears throat> even if you don't have a whole lot of training in Tantric Kriya meditation, you can still get a lot of benefit from these and follow along quite easily. And as I said, the training of subtle perception is built into these initial three stages. So that's what we'll do today. <clears throat> they are considered very subtle pranayama techniques. There's right on the cusp between pranayama and, and meditation techniques. Nadi Shodhana, clearly uh, pranayama practice, and then Shvasa Prashvasa Pravahi, which means to eliminate the pause. It's a process of breath refinement that allows us to get anchored in presence. Obviously, enduring presence is needed for sustained meditation. And then the final practice we'll do today is called Aharana, which means to call the mind back to its home base. This technique, in addition to being a Pratyahara technique, internalizing the mind, it starts to train us 
in subtle body sensitivity. We move through a collection of these subtle body points. We rest our attention there for a, a, a moment or two, take a breath. We feel into the point, develop pranic sensitiv sensitivity, and as a result of paying attention to that place, taking a breath there, we call a little fragment of the mind back into each of these points, integrating the mind, anchoring ourselves in presence, and training ourselves in subtle perception all at the same time. So it's a really a great system. Of course, it's a great system. It's, uh, it's yoga, and that's the perfect science. So let's get started. Take a nice, comfortable, upright, well-propped seat. Our first practice is Nadi Shodhana. So bring your right hand up in front of your face. Turn the peace fingers, the index and the middle fingers, in towards the pad of the thumb. And then place the tip of your right thumb on the right side of the bridge of your nose and the tip of the right ring finger on the left side. Slide the fingertips down the bone until you feel the skin soften a little bit. Right at that intersection, pause, sit up a little straighter. This is an unusual way to do Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. It will encourage you to pay attention, to be more present. It also works asymmetrically to balance the lunar energies, then the solar, but in the end, everything balances perfectly. Take a breath in through both. Now take a breath out through both nostrils. To begin, inhale through both. The top of your in-breath, close your left nostril and exhale out the right. Close the right, inhale through the left. Close left, exhale right. Once again, close the right, inhale left. Close the left, exhale out the right. Now reverse the direction, inhale through the right nostril. Close the right, exhale left. Close left, inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Close the left, inhale right. Close right, exhale left. One more reversal, breathe in through the left. Exhale through the right. In the left. Out the right. One more time, in the left. Exhale, right. End of the exhalation, release your hand down to your thigh for a moment. Breathe in and out through both nostrils. And be aware of the subtle energetic forces at the opening of your nostrils. Those energies express themselves as presence. The mind becomes more present by touching in on 
the energies at the opening of the nostrils. And we balance the solar side. Bring the right hand up. Recreate the hand formation with the tip of the thumb, ring finger, sliding down the bony bridge until you find the intersection between bone and cartilage. Pause. Sit up straight. Relax your shoulders. Soften your belly. Breathe in through both. Breathe out through both. To begin, inhale through both nostrils. Top of the in-breath, close the right, exhale left. Close left, inhale right. Close right, exhale left. In the right. Exhale left. Reverse the direction. Inhale through the left nostril. Exhale, right nostril. In left. Exhale, right. In the left. Exhale, right. Reverse the direction. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. In the right. Out the left. Final breath in the right. Exhale left. Release the hand down. Breathe in and out through both nostrils evenly. And feel into the pranic points or the pranic energies at the opening of your nostrils. Feel how they transform the mind. Stay connected to your breath and to your presence. And very gently, just elevate your awareness from the nostrils now up to the center of your forehead. This is the area where our sense of self-awareness is strongest, clearest. From this higher seat of perception, become aware of the field of energy directly surrounding your body, as if you were seated within an oval or egg-shaped field of light. 
or a field of vibration. In your own intuitive way, you experience being completely held, supported, nourished, protected, and vitalized by the energies within this field. This is not a symbol. This is your actual energetic body. Guide your awareness back to the nostrils. Keeping your awareness in presence at the nostrils, begin to refine your abdominal breathing. Deepen your abdominal breathing a little bit. Organize a perfect rhythm to your deep abdominal breathing. Yet even though it's deep, make your breath also silent. Deep, silent, abdominal breathing. Refine the breath further in regards to smoothness. Notice if there's any jerkiness or disruption to the smooth flowing of your breath in and out. Make the breath smoother. A further refinement. Balance the in breath and the out breath. So that both sides of your breath are matching the in breath and the out breath. Perfectly balanced. The final refinement is very subtle, but it's very important as it relates to anchoring ourselves in the present moment. Be aware of the transition points at either end of your breath, where the in-breath transitions to the out-breath, or the out-breath transitions to the in-breath. Consciously eliminate any pause at either end, so you end up with a perfectly seamless, gapless, breath. No pause at either end of the breath. And then to further fortify that process of eliminating the pause, we'll silently add in the mantra so hum. So with each breath in, you'll silently chant the mantra, so from beginning to end, and with the out breath, without pause, hum. silent inner mantra to completely eliminate the pause at either end of the breath. At this stage, we're not too concerned with the meaning of the mantra. We're simply using the mantra as a containment wall. To keep the mind present. Silence so on the in-breath, hum on the out-breath. Continue on for the next few minutes. Keep refining your breath, deep, silent, smooth, 
balanced and seamless. What we notice is that when our breath is perfect, presence is guaranteed. A few more rounds and then we'll invest that presence into the third and final practice. Few more breaths. And keep your breath as perfect as it is now. The only difference is now release the silent mantra. Let's come back to abdominal breathing. Silent, smooth, balanced, and seamless. This guarantees your presence. Let's begin to explore the inner world, the inner kingdom. From the nostrils, Guide your awareness back up to the center of the forehead. That is a pranic point. Take five or six breaths as if you were breathing in and out of that point. Don't overanalyze it or overthink it. Just breathe in and out of the center of the forehead. See if you can feel a subtle pranic pulsation there and just by virtue of doing this you call a fragment of your own mind back into this space where it belongs in exactly the same way move your awareness to the center of your eyebrows but here just take one breath Feel for prana, call the mind back. Do the same in both of the eyes simultaneously, one breath. Both nostrils, one breath. Feel presence. Move on, throat center, one breath. Both of your shoulders simultaneously, one breath, silent and smooth. Feel for energy. Both upper arms, one breath. Both elbows. One breath. Call a piece of your mind back. Both of the wrists simultaneously. One breath.
both palms, one breath. Feel all ten fingertips. Take two breaths in all ten fingertips together. Both palms, one breath. Both wrists, one breath. Both elbows. Both upper arms. Feel into the subtle dimension of that point or those points. Shoulders together, one breath. How do the vibrations feel in the shoulders? Throat center, one breath. Each point has a unique frequency, a unique aspect of the mind. Center of the chest, one breath. A little bit lower, base of the sternum, one breath. Navel center, one breath. Pelvic center, between the top of the sacrum and the top of the pubic bone, one breath. At the perineum, or the pelvic floor, now take two breaths. Feel into the subtle points. Back to the pelvic center, one breath. Navel center. We're trying to feel, not think. Base of the sternum, one breath. Feel. Center of the chest, one breath. Throat center. Nostrils, one breath. Both of the eyes together, one breath. Eyebrow center. Center of the forehead. Which is the epicenter of your now integrated mind. Take a handful of breaths here at the center of the forehead. Get fully established in the subtle pulsations 
or sense of vibration at the center of your forehead. Expressing the whole nature of your perfect mind, integrated vibrant, extremely steady, stay with those energies, the center of the forehead, and now allow your breath to fall away. Completely relax your breath. Rest in the pure energetic experience gently unfolding from the center of the forehead.
Okay, friends, just very gradually begin to remember your breath. Deep, silent, and smooth breaths. Feel yourself reconnecting with your physical body, the personality structure of your mind. But this sense of higher awareness remains intact. That's the royal part, that is the crown. Crown is your own awakened higher mind, born of meditation. All right. Thank you very much for sharing your practice. Keep practicing every day. Meditate every day. Put on your royal crown of meditation. Namaste.